Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Tina. It's time for our daily devotional. Today, I picked a passage of God's words about his management plan. When I learned about this, it's what actually convinced me that the Lord Jesus had returned. I never heard anything about a 6,000 year management plan or even that God had a plan to save mankind. And this plan, the more I learn about it, the more interesting it is as seeing how deeply corrupted we are by Satan and the need for God to have this plan so we can know the difference between good and evil, what is just and what is unjust, what are truth and what are lies, what comes from God, what comes from Satan. So let's read God's words. Almighty God says, such is the management of God to hand mankind over to Satan. A mankind that does not know what God is, what the Creator is, how to worship God, or why it is necessary to submit to God, and allow Satan to corrupt him. Step by step, God then recovers man from the hands of Satan until man fully worships God and rejects Satan. This is God's management. This may sound like a mythical tale, and it may seem perplexing. People feel like this is a mythical story because they have no inkling of how much has happened to man over the past several thousand years. Much less do they know how many stories have occurred in the cosmos and the firmament. And furthermore, that is because they cannot appreciate the more astonishing, more fear-inducing world that exists beyond the material world, but which their mortal eyes prevent them from seeing. It feels incomprehensible to man because man has no understanding of the significance of God's salvation of mankind or the significance of the work of his management and does not comprehend how God ultimately wishes mankind to be. Is it to be utterly uncorrupted by Satan like Adam and Eve were? No. The purpose of God's management is to gain a group of people who worship God and submit to Him. Although these people have been corrupted by Satan, they no longer see Satan as their father. They recognize the repulsive face of Satan and reject it. And they come before God to accept God's judgment and chastisement. They come to know what is ugly and how it contrasts with that which is holy and to recognize the greatness of God and the evil of Satan. A mankind such as this will no longer work for Satan or worship Satan or enshrine Satan. This is because they are a group of people who have truly been gained by God. This is the significance of God's work of managing mankind. During the work of God's management of this time, mankind is the object both of Satan's corruption and God's salvation, and man is the product that God and Satan are fighting over. As God performs his work, he is gradually recovering man from the hands of Satan, and so man comes ever closer to God. Amen. God's words are so very clear and his management plan, it's a great thing once we get to understand more and more about it. The more and more we understand about it, the more we can see why God hands mankind over to Satan, right? It's, it's so that we can, as the end result, know the difference between what is good and what is evil, to know the difference in what comes from God and what comes from Satan. Because as newly created mankind, you know, no man knows how to worship God or why it's necessary to submit to God. So step by step, as we were corrupted by Satan, God recovers us from the hands of Satan until as the end result, fully worship God and we will reject Satan. This is God's management plan of saving man and also the defeat of Satan. So God's plan is a really great thing of seeing how Satan is defeated through our knowing the difference between good and evil, our awakening to what is just and what is righteous and coming before God to be able to turn our backs on Satan as Satan is fully exposed into the light. 
Now this is a gradual process. And God reveals that people think like this is a mythical story because we have no inkling of how much has happened to man over the past several thousand years. Satan has corrupted us so deeply. And that's what I see within my own self to see that from the surface level, when I first accepted the Lord's second coming, I really didn't think there was anything wrong with me. But over time, I started to learn how God's words of the last days rip the mask off of us. And as that mask is being stripped away, we start to see the satanic nature inside of us, how Satan has really harmed us, but over a really gradual process over thousands of years. So we can't see the degeneration, but God created man in the very beginning and he knows the intention he has for man. So God sees this corruption. And so God's fighting against Satan by the things he does for us of issuing the laws, of coming to redeem us, and in the last days coming to do the work of judgment, which is the most greatest work that God has done in his management plan, because this is the time that we can awaken and we can really see the harm that Satan has done to us and be able to turn our backs on Satan. And God reveals the purpose of God's management is to gain a group of people who worship God and submit to him. And we can only worship God and submit to him if we know him. Because when we believe in God without knowing him, we believe in a God that lives in our imagination. And that God is a vague God, a God that is not real. So God coming in the last days of bringing the truth helps us to awaken, to realize that we need to learn to love what God loves and hate what God hates. And God reveals that the purpose of his management you know, it's so we don't see Satan as our father no more. And we can recognize the repulsive face of Satan and reject it and come before God to accept his judgment and chastisement and realize that that is God's love and realize that the love God has for mankind over thousands of years of seeing how Satan has harmed us so deeply, but having the patience of using wisdom in the defeat of Satan by being patient and watching the progression of man and watching the harm that Satan does to us, but also coming back to know how to do the work amongst us so we can break free of Satan's control. So we'll be able to fully know the difference between what is holy, what is unholy, and see the greatness of God and the evil of Satan and this is the greatest thing because now we'll be fully awakened. We won't be like Adam and Eve that didn't know any better. We will be a mankind that's been through hell and know that without God in our lives, that we could not take a step forward. We would know to be tempted by Satan is to be able to resist that, know how to resist it. Adam and Eve didn't have the truth. They had no understanding of the truth. So today, the mankind that God will gain is a mankind that will attain holiness, but have all this knowledge of the truth and knowing the difference of the temptations that we face by Satan and be able to resist them, to tell Satan, get behind me, Satan. That is not of God, like Jesus was able to do when he told that to Peter. So God reveals too that, you know, the significance of God's managing man is, you know, it's at the same time, man is the object of both Satan's corruption and God's salvation. And we are the ones that God is fighting over. Satan is fighting for our souls and God is fighting for our souls. So we have a part in the destination we will attain as the end result on what side we choose. If we don't accept the Lord's second coming, then of course, Satan wins our soul and we will end up being punished by God. So it's really, really important to understand the work that God is doing in the spiritual battle that we're facing. Like God says, we can't see into the spiritual world, but with the truth that God has brought, God helps us to see this spiritual battle very, very clearly. And you can only see it once you start to understand and gain some experience of the truth. And these are things that I've learned in my own pursuit without the truth, Satan will never ever be put below our feet. Satan will always be in control of us at the head of us, but God wants Satan to be below our feet. And so we need the truth to do that. So I really love learning about God's management plan. If you'd like to share anything on this passage, please feel free to do so. And that's all I have to share today. So we'll see you next time. God bless you and have a wonderful day.
Bye.